Here ho, she did Dragoon back in business with another unstructured video. This is a small addition um, to the last uh, Tewards programming video about configurations. So make sure you have watched that one. That's dived right into the code. Uh, we defined it. Um, so press Control Shift F to search the whole uh, source code and type in test config. If you followed the last episode, you should find your test config. Otherwise, go to uh, config underscore variables using Control P and type in config variables. Um, okay, so if you have a regular config variable and you you execute test underscore config in the local or remote console, as you remember, we implemented it client and server side. Um, this will only change the value of the variable. It will not execute any further code. Um, if you saw the admin command episode, um, there we added the command uh, stats. So um, if you register a admin command, a recon command, you provide a callback. And um, this is the function code. Uh, this is the function with the code that gets executed if you call the, the command. But um, we did not provide any callback in here. So there's no um, self-written code that gets executed on a config uh, configuration value, which makes sense because it's not a command. It's not something that does something. It's just a variable that you change. But sometimes you want to uh, also execute code when a variable is changed. And a example for that is um, as we name on the server side. So if you go to source engine server, server um, dot cpp, there we have s uh, sv underscore name, which is also in uh, config variables, if I'm not mistaken yet. So we have here this configuration variable um, sv name, which is um, the name of the server, which gets uh, displayed in the server browser. And if you would just um, change the variable, um, nothing would update. So um, it also has to send another info packet to the master server telling the master server, hey, I have a new name. So you want that code to be executed. And that's where chaining comes in. So um, you have a regis a registration of regular um, recon commands, uh, such as reload, and you can provide a, a function callback, as I said already. But you can also chain existing settings um, uh, like uh, config variables defined in config variables or in variables.h and chain them. So you provide the same name that, um, that you've used here. So the name that is used in the, in the in-game console, not the name that is used in the code otherwise. And then you um, chain that and then you can provide another callback. Um, so this way you can um, execute code on, uh, on the change of the config variable. So if we control click that, we can see that it sends the server info. So um, anytime you change the server name, it actually updates um, the, the server info. Um, yeah, so let's do that ourselves, but not on the server um, side. Let's do it on the client side. So go to um, uh, game client. Let's do it here. And so game client is essentially like game context.cpp, but in the um, in the client side, this is like my favorite personal favorite file to do all kinds of game related things, right? Um, it's a bad habit, of course, to put everything in here. You usually should create your own classes, but I'm not teaching you good style here. I'm teaching you the dirty, cracky, unplanned way of uh, messing around with the keyword source code. So we are going to look at game client and search for control F chain. And we have some change in, uh, chains in here. Cool. So we can copy the code that is already existing here as always, because we are lazy. And then we put in our test config in here and we want our um, con chain test config. So the style here or the convention is to name it con chain and then we have to define it. So we search all occurrences of con chain skin change 
and there are plenty in the C++ file and one in the header file. So we want to copy that one and put it down here and call it conchain um, test config. Uh, yeah, we're in the game client.h and we defined our function in here. Cool. And now we can um, also define it in the C++ uh, file with the actual content of the function. Let's copy that and go to the bottom and put it in here and call it con chain test config. Okay, so again, this is a static, uh, a static method which makes it a little bit special and you do not have direct access to the client variables and um, that's why you need some pointer magic to get back access to game client so p uh, client is our pointer um, pointing to the game client and so if we want to do something in the game client we have to use that pointer and something that we can do is for example haha what do we chain here do we have um, p client access to the chat uh, yeah, so we have uh, access to the m underscore p chat pointer and there we can add a line. So let's quickly go to chat.cpp and um, there's a newly added um, say self method um, and we can quickly show it in game in case you do not know it already. Um, say, oh, we should probably go in game somewhere. Okay, so if we're on a server and we type in, in the local console say self foo, you can see we have a chat message here down there, uh, foo. So this is for, yeah, like you can use that in um, binds um, that, uh, yeah, help you visualize what, what is happening. Okay, and we are um, using this method and I press the button. Okay, so we are copying this add line from say self and we put it in here. And instead of a string, we put in a fixed message saying hello world. Uh, oh no, like you ch chain hello from config chain. Okay something like that. Let's hope this is defined here. Let's see if that compiles. I I really doubt that this compiles. Uh, oh yeah, I should I should build it here. F7. <coughs> Exit it with code one. Okay, we have an error. Okay, so client message is not defined here. We can try to do that maybe this works it's probably not very so um uh, here client message is defined and we are here in the context of um chat so uh we could try to point uh, that to chat let's let's see if that even works before i explain what i did here and it worked okay so um this is probably not the nicest way to do it but every time you copy something from a different file and it is um it is valid there but it gives you a compiler warning in your file um you can always somewhat change the context to the different file using a pointer to uh, add uh, this file so um we are currently in the static context meaning like we are like nowhere so to say and the p client pointer points us to game client and from game client we can access the pointer mp chat which uh, gives us access to this um, chat class and there is a client msg is defined in chat.h okay so this makes sense um yeah you should probably um yeah do that differently and there's probably a nicer way but we are just quickly hacking things through and i'm trying to uh, show you the concept of chaining okay so that worked and um, then we can execute the client and we need a a server as well okay so 
if I connect to the server and now if I change the, the local so we did a client modification here uh, game client and chat.cpp uh, are all client side uh, source files so we write in test config and foo and as you can see down here um, hello config chain so we can put any code in here we want and um, execute that on the change of the configuration let's try something funny do we have like con kill here yeah con kill okay so we have this we can copy the content of con kill which is a self kill and then we can put it in here just to have something happening more than chat um, right so I know the there is this command uh, kill in the in the client so um, per convention the the code uh, the code convention says that the function holding the code for kill is named con kill that's why I knew um, I should search for con kill and then copying the whole content allows me to reproduce this uh, this behavior so we are checking the state of the players online and if the player is online we are sending the kill and this sends a message saying yo I want to kill right uh, I've seen that message see a kill and the server receives that message and then kills the the player so um, yeah usually that's um, kind of odd if you want to kill your client on changing a configuration but um, yeah I, w I just want to show you guys how to copy code from different places and do things and um, differ a little bit from the usual chat output okay so if we now change our okay local console test config to full we died okay so we can put in any code we can chain any code to the change of our configuration variable um, that might come in handy if you have something like that needs some code to be executed if you um, updated a configuration value um, a better example than self kill would be uh, updating the master server when you change the name of the server. Okay, so um, that's it for this week's episode. See you.